Welcome to your Connect. Today we have a 2018 Mercedes GLC 300 here. And uh, upon startup, we have a message that comes up here. I'm going to show you what it says. So we have a message that says active brake assistance function limited. See the owner's manual. And so I hooked up an OBD2 scanner to the, uh, and then, um, yeah. So I've hooked up a scanner, read the codes, and we'll go over that and then uh, talk about where that sensor is and how to replace it. All right, so full system scanner hooked up, went through all of the, um, did a full system scan to find for sure where this is. And so we are in the electronic stability control um, and also communication with the ESP, which a lot of this communicates with the same thing. But our communication with the control unit, collision prevention assistant, has a malfunction, and these are all in the same unit. And then some implausible data is received from the radar um, sensor, right? And so we have U one one four or one four 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 E one U one zero five CFA one zero five CFB and one zero five CFC. And so um, this is all in the. Uh, Sometimes called the Distronic on uh, on Mercedes, but this one's more your uh, where it's going to beep at you and apply your brakes if you're getting too close to a vehicle and so forth like that. So I'll show you where that sensor is for replacing right hand. Okay, so um, to remove our front bumper and working on the process to get all this portion from the wheel, well, we need to be able to pull this away. It's held on by this little bit. It clips into the bumper and only need to pull it from up to here. So, then you pull from the bottom. We just need to separate it out there. All right. So, that we only pull it up to there, and so there's four clips that are holding this in here. And so once we pull it up to there, and yeah, we're good to go to here. Now, down inside here, we have those push clips. So we need to pull them out in the center. And we have three of them. And then they should pull the rest of the clip out that way. And there are one or two that are down here that we need to remove. There you go. So we have all those removed. Now the next thing is is up top here we have two there's a number 10 millimeter here and there's a number 10 millimeter in here and so we get this one by pulling this down okay. and so as we pull this away we gain our access to the other 10 it is up in here and then got a push clip down here on the bottom to be removed and then you'll be able to we got to kind of hold this piece of trim out and then pull down we have this little tab up here we want to pull down the bumper a little bit and then be able to pull out and looking to see that we don't have any electric that we need to worry about here which everything is looking good it's just the one electrical connector on the other side all right so last thing that we need to do to be able to get the rest of the bumper off is we have two bolts one here one here those are size number eight uh, and then we have some push clips here to remove. Whether you want to remove the interior ones 
or remove the outer one. You want to just undo it from the inside one. It's closer to the uh, radiated portion to separate the whole thing. One thing we've got to make sure when we get this pulled away enough where we can reach down, unhook the electric for the, uh, the Mercedes M. The 8 millimeter that holds the, the bumper and the light. And it did already disconnect the electric connection there that feeds for all of the, um, the parking aid sensors. So we don't need to worry about that electric there. Portions undone, and now being able to pull our, and then we have our one electric connector here that goes for the emblem. Just be able to unhook that, and now being able to pull and remove our bumper. All right, so we have the bumper flipped over. If we're looking at it, it's on the right-hand side. It's the same, the passenger side of the vehicle, and right behind this. So this uh, little. Uh, absorber the styrofoam we have a clip on this side a clip on the other side and then same on the opposite side and then you'll be able to remove that and this is the radar unit or sensing unit that we're having issues with you've got an electric connection here you can undo there um, this is the one that connects to the vehicle either way so the way we get this off is we need to depress this big old tab here and then be able to pull it out So that is your sensor removal. And then if you need to disconnect the electrics, it's just squeeze the two tabs together on both sides and then unhook there um, to be able to put this back on the other one. So if you need a, a new one of these, we take it in the reverse and put it in. You do not want to drop this and break the sensor before you put it in. And so then we just slide it in there nice and easy until it clears that clip that holds it into place there and then just go ahead and um, run that electric back up like that so that when we hook this back into the car it stays up and out of the way now the styrofoam piece here just being able to line it up so that the one tab on the bottom tab on the top same method on the other side. Place your so we're ready to put the bumper back on and so we go in that reverse order of the way we took it off and being able to bring it up here and pushing it over these little tabs and this is where the two eight millimeter bolts go. Some push clips up here and some uh, push clips and bolts in the uh, driver's passenger side of the, in the wheel. So we just bring our, our bumper to the car and bring it up for a watch that we keep the bumper below the fender there so we don't scratch it. And then this has a little tab that's going to hold it up there a little bit. And then that way now we can work around and be able to get things aligned up. There's a little pin. So there's a little guide pin on both sides. It's a little plastic that's part of the bumper to glide this, guide it up, and then um, we'll be able to put the uh, 10 millimeter bolts from the bumper up to the fender. There we go. Perfect. And then on both sides, once we've got those guide pins up in there, because everything's pretty much holding in place, 
we can go ahead and press this molding um, into the bumper. And so then it helps lock things in place. And then we got to make sure that we hook the electrics up on the other side that go to the, goes to that radar um, sensor and do the same thing. All right, so we have a 10 millimeter that goes here and we have a 10 millimeter that goes right here. Um, it's this big coarse bolt that's going to go up through here and just got to get it a good... Get that one there. Then this one is a little bit on the outside here. Tighten that up. That holds the fender and bumper together. And then we have the push clip, which are the ones you press them in, and then the center pin, push that in there to fully, fully secure it in there. So three push pins from the, this side, pushing this molding back on, two number 10 millimeter bolts that go up here to hold the, uh, um, the bumper, and, bumper and fender together. And so that's it on this side. So the next thing is on this top side, being able to um, line this up and put the clips in. So you should have three. On the top side, that hold the bumper there. And then we have eight millimeter bolts that go from the bumper into the, the light housing. Snug there. Um, this has, we have the electrics here that we need to hook back up for the, um, this light here, or the emblem. This is a, somebody put this on aftermarket, but if you have it. Just make that connection there. And then being able to Line your emblem up that when you turn it, you lock it into place. It's in the, uh, the position there. So we'll just go ahead and finish repeating what we did on the left side. On the other side, making sure the one last electric connection over there for the, uh, the radar sensor. There's three bolts that go into the splash shield on the bottom. And then a couple push clips that also go into the splash shield. And there we go. And so that is the removal of or this radar sensor and how you would remove it for replacement on your Mercedes GLC of a 2018. Thanks for watching Eucanic, where you can be the mechanic.